Hi, welcome to another video from Firewalls.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up an SSL VPN for remote access using the SonicWall Net Extender client. Remote access is useful for users that would like to access network resources from an off-site location, and with an SSL VPN using Net Extender, we can provide a secure access environment. Let's jump in and take a look. The first thing that we need to do in the firewall is scroll down to SSL VPN and then server settings. We need to turn on SSL VPN access in the WAN zone so that we allow clients to connect in from the WAN. We need to set our SSL VPN port. By default this is 4433. Uh, we tend to just keep this the same so then it doesn't conflict with anything else. This is a default setting. Um, you can select a certificate. Uh, user domain, uh, for this example we're just going to keep it to local domain but if you have an internal domain you can specify that here. The next thing we need to do is go to client settings. We need to configure the DHCP scope. So this is the IP that the um, users will get when they connect to the VPN. Um, we recommend that this is different from an IP range on the internal network. For this example I'm going to use 10.10.50.10 I'm going to specify a small range because we only have a small amount of users that will be using the VPN. The next click on uh, client routes. We're going to select the internal subnets that we want our users to be able to access. You can select tunnel all so this will allow users that connect on the VPN to also send their web traffic through the firewall. Next click on client settings. For this example we're going to just use the basic DNS settings. If you have your own internal DNS server you can specify that here. Um, if you have your own domain uh, I suggest adding that to this search list so that you can resolve um, network mappings and network drives. We want to enable the client auto update. We want to enable NetBIOS over VPN. We want to allow the creation of a connection profile and then allow saving a username and password. Now that we have that set up, we need to create our remote users. We need to go to users and then local users. I'm just going to specify an example, remote user. Specify the password. In order for them to access the VPN, we need to add them to the SSL VPN services group. In VPN access, we can specify which subnets that they can access. This should be the same as what we had specified in the SSL VPN settings. If you have more than one user, you can add them to a local group, um, such as this SSL VPN services and then you can specify in the group the uh, VPN access so that way all of the users will inherit the setting that's in the group. In order for us to test the SSL VPN we need to connect to an outside network either on a hotspot or a guest network um, just so we're on a different IP range from the internal network. Um, you need to browse to the public IP of the firewall along with the port that we specified for the SSL VPN. We need to proceed past the certificate error. Here you'll be directed to the SonicWall virtual office. We just need to log in with the user that we set up earlier. When you log in you'll be prompted to download two versions of the NetExtender client. For this example we're going to just use the Windows NetExtender client. Once the client has been downloaded and installed you can open the client. In the server name you just need to replicate what you connected to earlier to get to the virtual office. Username will be the same. The domain will be either local domain if you kept it like that or it will be your own personal domain. 
once you have all of this information in, click connect. You need to accept the security certificate notice. You'll get a notification that you have been connected. Um, you'll get given an IP in the range that you specified earlier. Uh, you'll be able to see traffic flowing. You can see the routes that you had um, decided on. Um, so this should be the internal network. So you should now be able to access resources on the internal network. Uh, and you can also check your DNS settings. Um, so we've successfully connected to the SSL VPN. Thanks again for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more videos as part of our Essentials series over the coming weeks. Thanks.